Hey, how's it going? The rain died down, um, and we owe this video to Freddy. He was uh, talking about, like, the softball challenge of the century. It's like, what are the, um, the rules? It's like, don't have any rules. And then I got to thinking, we should have some rules. And I spoke earlier about this cedar ball um, that I was going to send you back. But then I thought, since it's raining, I'm just going to soak this thing. I, I held it under the water from an eaves trough, and it's like, gosh, I had earlier spoke about Odawa bows, wet weather bows, hunting bows made for like rainy weather that would be cedar. Now I'm, I'm going to demonstrate it. You can't see this, but I'm going to run and hold this ungreased white cedar bow under the downspot. I'm going to soak it more. I could have just threw it in the river. I'll be right back. There we go. I don't know if you can see this, but wringing the water off of it. Ungreased, just threw it underneath the, the downspout, let the water soak in. So here I have a white cedar bow, just made from trunk. Didn't even bother with like a big branch and compression wood. This is just plain old weak white cedar bark, or cedar tree. And in some respects, it, it reminds me of uh, canoe ribs, birch bark canoe ribs, gym on ribs. That they're stronger when they're wet. It's like, wow, we need a bow that we can use in, the, in bad weather, extended periods of rain, that instead of fighting the water, go with the water. So let's see here. This is not the most powerful bow of the year, but I did flight shoot it. It went over 80 yards. Here we go. And don't judge all white cedar bows by this bow. Obviously, I could have made it a little thicker and it would have been a little stronger. But, whoa, I hit it. My little section of stump. But as you can see, well, if you were here, you would notice there's actually zero chrysals or compression lines in this thing. And I've been shooting it in the rain, having a blast. Um, the back, nothing's lifting up. It's not feeling creaky, showing no signs of failure. And you can see that I didn't see where I was holding the arrows. Probably 80 or a 28 inch draw with this. Relatively low brace height. Again, it's not the most powerful bow of the century. It's probably just, I don't know, 30 pounds. But if I made it slightly thicker, it would have been heavier. But this is a result of the softwood bow challenge of the century. White cedar. The tails of Odawa bows that were used in rainy weather out of white cedar. <laughs> I have, for myself, discovered something very interesting. The recurve, by the way, is not showing any signs of pulling out because I did leave the tips a little thicker. They might be um, working recurves, but I wanted to kind of go towards the static recurve side. I am so pleased with this thing. If I made it a fraction of an inch thicker, this could have probably been a 45 pound ball. I'm going to keep shooting it. I'm going to keep playing in the rain like a water puppy. One of my entries for the softwood bow challenge of the century. Thank you.